नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहना सह नो घुन सह वीर वह तेजस्वीतमस्तुमा वह ये ओं शातिशाशाति धातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्य प्रकृति कृसुवंता धातुब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव मंडस्यातस्मेलोका सप्तद्वीपा चीद Okay, so let's begin with the 18th chapter of Gita. The last chapter uh, is the screen legible? So I think the fonts are big enough, right? I can't close this. So if I increase the font size, there will be an overlap. No, the earlier okay. one was better. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, i have to copy paste into uh, the document i have uh, i forgot about it okay so sarvasyeva geeta shastrasya arthaha asmin adhyaye upasamhrutya sarvascha vedartha vaktavya ityeva arthaha ayam adhyaye aarabhyate so ayam adhyaye aarabhyate this chapter is begun why because sarvasyeva geeta shastrasya arthaha the sum up of the entire gita shastra whatever was the intention asmin adhyaye upasamrutya having concluded in this chapter sarvascha vedartha and gita shastra itself is the sarva shastra naam artha therefore that also is vedartha vaktavya it should be mentioned in conclusion iti evam artha ayam adhya arabhyate that is the reason why this chapter has been begun by gita acharya of course it begins with uh, arjuna's question but taking cue from there gita acharya krishna goes through the entire sum up because the question here is about sanyasa in the earlier chapter we saw we saw the gunatraya bhaga and then based on the gunas we also saw the yajna dana and tapaha all of those have sattva rajas and tamas driven differences predominantly now this sanyasa is also of three types but it doesn't included in the earlier chapter this sanyasa is a question which is tangential to the yajna dana kap तपः टेंजेंशियल इनफैक्ट 180 डिग्री इज अपोजिट द्वे निष्ठे मया प्रोक्ते भगवान कृष्ण हैड सेड देयर आर टू निष्ठास प्रवृत्ति मार्ग निवृत्ति मार्ग सो प्रवृत्ति मार्ग यज्ञ दान तपः व्हिच वाज डिस्कस दे हैव थ्री फोल्ड डिफरेंसेस बेस्ड ऑन प्रीडोमिनेंस ऑफ गुण बेस्ड ऑन व्हिच देयर इज अ पर्सनालिटी एंड दोस काइंड ऑफ पीपल विल टेक टू पर्टिकुलर टाइम टाइप्स ऑफ कर्मास वेदर दान tapah or yajna ityadi and particular types of deities also they get devoted to now sanyasa is nivritti marga the other nishtha that is also of three types but here in this chapter it is segregated sarveshu so sarveshu Just give me a moment i'll just mute it yeah so सर्वेशु अतीतेशु अध्यायेशु उक्ता अर्थ अस्मिन अध्याय अवगम्यते अवगम्यते अर्थ अवगम्यते अस्मिन अध्याय इन दिस चैप्टर द अर्थ इज नोन अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आर अर्थ दैट अर्थ व्हिच हैज बीन स्टेटेड उक्ता कुत्र उक्ता सर्वेशु अतीतेशु अध्यायेशु इन ऑल द अर्लियर चैप्टर्स व्हाटएवर हैज बीन मेंशनड will be understood here so avagamyate will be understood avagamyati is known but since the chapter is beginning we can see as little akara meaning and say 
will be known here. Arjunastu sannyasa tyaga shabdhartha yor eva vishesha vubutsu vacha. So bodhu michu. One who is desirous to know vishesha. He asked Arjuna who wanted to know sannyasa tyaga shabdhartha. What is the vishesha? Sannyasa and tyaga, these words are used. Tyaga, Sanyasa, this has been mentioned earlier in one way or the other, it has been hinted at least. What is the difference between the two? So Vishesha Bhubutsu, he wants to know what is Tyaga, what is Sanyasa. Thereby Arjuna Uvacha, Arjuna Uvacha, Sanyasa Syamaha Baho, Tattvamichami Veditum, Tyaga Sechahrishi Kesha, Kurta Keshini Shudana. So here, he asked Arjuna Uvacha. Arjuna asked, What did he ask? Sanyasa se he Mahabaho. So, this is Arjuna addressing Bhagavan Krishna as Mahabahu. One who has Mahabahu, that kind of mighty armed Krishna. So, Krishna is also a warrior. So, he is also Mahabahu. <coughs> Earlier, we have seen Krishna has addressed Arjuna as Mahabahu. So, he Mahabaho. Ichami, aham ichami. Kim ichami ham? Tatum vedi tum ichami. Tumun pratya will take a karma as tatwa. So it will tatum is karma. Dvitiya ekvachana to vedi tum, which is an avyaya. Ichami, aham ichami. Kasya tatum ichami. Sanyasasya. I want to understand the reality, real nature of sanyasa. I desire to know. I want to know means I desire to know the real nature of sannyasa. Tyagasya cha. Tyagasya cha. Tattvam veditum aham ichami. Prathak. Distinctly. Sannyasa. What is the sannyasa tattva and what is the tyaga tattva? I want to know. He hrishi kesha. He Keshi Nishudana. So there is a Keshi who uh, Rishi Kesha, Keshi Nishudana, and Mahabahu. Mahabahu, all these are Sambodana. So you can see this he is a mighty armed destroyer of, of Rishi Ke, um, He Rishi Kesha, Keshi Nishudana. So one who has killed this Keshi, Keshi Rakshasha. Destroyer of Keshi, O Rishi Kesha, O Mahabahu, I want to know. Sanyasasya, Sanyasa Shabda Arthasya. So Sanyasa Shabda Arthasya, when he says Sanyasasya, of Sanyasa, you know, of the meaning of the word Sanyasa. Not Sanyasa itself, what is the meaning of the word Sanyasa? Pada Padarthyo, Abheda finally, but Sanyasa, I want to understand what is the meaning of the word Sanyasa because Tyaga is also used. I want to know what is the difference between Sanyasa and Tyaga. He Mahabaho Tattvam. Tattvam is Tasya Bhava. Tasya Bhava Tattvam. Tasya Bhava Totalo. That's the Pratya used and they were by which if you use To, you will get Dapun Sakalinga Tattvam. And if you use Tal. Lakara is an it letter, halantyam it. Then akara is added, ajadhyata stop, and then you will get ta prati also, you will get tatta, which is in the same sense of tasya bhava. So reality finally, tat is pronoun, which stands for that. That means anything. It's a proxy noun for everything. It's a sarvanama. Therefore, tattva means reality. Reality of what? Of that, of sannyasa and tyaga. Yathatmyam ityetat. What is the idea of tattvam? Yathatmyam, reality. Ichami veditum. Veditum means nyatum. Vidhatu plus tum, tumun, or nyadhatu plus tum. Ichami aham. Ichami tyaga se cha. Tyaga shabdartha se ityetat. Just like sannyasa se means sannyasa shabdartha se. Similarly, Tyaga means Tyaga Shabdar Tasya Ityetat. Ityetat is this is the idea. Rishi Kesha Prathak distinctly. So this is an adverbial to Ichami. 
वेदितुम सॉरी तू वेदितुम वेदितुम पृथक वेदितुम इच्छामि पृथक इज इतरेतर विभागतः डिस्टिंक्टली डिफरेंशिएटिंग बिटवीन त्याग एंड सन्यास दैट काइंड ऑफ डिजायर आई हैव टू नो केशी निशुदन केशी नाम हयच्छद्वा कश्चित सो कश्चित सम सम राक्षस आर देयर वन इन अ डिस्गाइज ऑफ अ हय सो हयच्छब्द हयच्छद्मा वन हु इज disguised as a horse so there is some asura who was disguised as a as a horse that was called as keshi he had a keshi naam so keshi naam hai chadma kashchit asura tam nishuditavan bhagwan krishna completely destroyed him so bhagwan vasudeva nishuditavan tena tan naam tan naamna tena tan naamna sambodhyate arjunena so this is a sambodha sambodhana so he says you know you who are the destroyer of that rakshasa there sanyasa tyaga shabdau tatra tatra nirdishtau sanyasa and tyaga have been used frequently na nirluthita artho purveshu adhyayeshu however na nirluthita artho meaning sanya nirdishtau na nirdishtau have been pointed out have been mentioned but they had no clear differentiated meaning nirluthita artho nirluthita ha nirluthitau artho meaning luthita artha they didn't have bauri so sanyas and tyag shabdo although they have been used frequently earlier tatra tatra still they had no clear clarity in meaning so there is no differentiation made do they have any difference at all or they are used as equivalent that is the jignasa there purveshu adhyayeshu tatra tatra nirdishto ataha arjunaya prishtavate tan nirnayaya bhagavan uvacha therefore bhagavan answered why tan nirnayaya that nirlutita artha should become clear now therefore arjunaya what kind of arjuna to that arjuna arjunaya who is prishta van who has asked a question to that prishta vate arjunaya to that arjuna who has asked the question inquiring into these meanings to that kind of arjuna bhagavan krishna uvacha vasudeva uvacha श्री भगवान उवाच काम्यासम संन्यास कवयो विदु सर्वकर्म फल त्याग प्राहुस्त्याग विचक्षण सो विदु से हु आर दो नल उयर लिट लकार हेज बीन यूज लकार इट्स नॉट लिट लकार रियली इट इज यूज इन लट लकार ऑल्सो optional forms of vidhatu so they know who are those kavayaha not that they knew they won't fit in they knew and now also they know who are those kavayaha kanta darshiya darshinaha those who are gnani is here that kind of a sense is there pandita ityartha so panditaha viduhu they know what do they know sanyasam nyasam sanyasam sanyasam is predicated nyasam is predicated as sanyasam so this is a objective complement of nyasam nyasa is giving up renunciation that kind of renunciation is called as sanyasa samyak nyasa what kind of renunciation karmanam nyasa so karmanam nyasam viduhu kavayah viduhu they know the nyasa as sanyasa nyas of what of karma what kind of karma kamya karma so kamyanam karmanam nyasam sanyasam that is sanny there is a lakshana what is sanyasa kavai kavis no sanyasa to be nyasa of kamya karma first level of definition sarva karma phalatyagam prahustyagam vichakshanaha whereas vichakshanaha among them also those who are so kavis you can see the same kavis panditas vichakshana also those who can see 
ವಿಶೇಷ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಿಶೇ ವಿಶೇಷ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಂತ ದರ್ಶಿ ದರ್ಶಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಕಾಲ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ತ್ಯಾಗಂ ಪ್ರಾಹು ಹು ಸೊ ವಿಚಕ್ಷಣ ಕಿಂ ಪ್ರಾಹು ಹು ವಾಟ್ ಡು ದೇ ಸೇ ತ್ಯಾಗಂ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ತ್ಯಾಗಂ ತ್ಯಾಗಂ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ದೇ ಸೇ ತ್ಯಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ವ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಲ ತ್ಯಾಗ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಸೇ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ನಾಮ ಕರ್ಮ ನಾಮ ನ್ಯಾಸ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಅ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನೈಮಿತ್ತಿಕ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಕರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಾಗ ದ್ವೇಷ driven results so don't be driven by ragad dvesha don't go for those kind of karmas so once you give that up then that itself is sanyasa then what nitya naimitya ka karmas you are doing drop them also not completely but phalatyaga so sarva karma phalatyaga whatever nitya naimitya ka karmas also you are doing or other karmas laukikas also for sustenance stop expecting a particular kind of results so phala tyaga that will be called as tyaga that is real tyaga iti vichakshana ahu prahu prakarshana kamya nam what is kamya karma kamya nam ashwamedhadinam karmanam nyasam sanyasa shabdartham that is the meaning of sanyasa shabd what giving up ashwamedhadi karmas ashwamedha is the highest so anything at the even the lower level where one expects some phala so there is kama back therefore kamya is that which has phala associated wanting to get such results here and here after there it is not done because it is prescribed you can you can choose not to do but you choose to do then it is binding but if you choose not to do because karma lacking there won't be any phala so giving that such kamya karmas driven by ragad dveshas is a sanyasa shabdasya artha anushthiyatvena praptasya anushthanam <coughs> what is attained prapta how anushthiyatvena meaning it has to be done should be practiced that is anushthana so uh, yeah that is anushthana anushthiyatvena praptasya anushthanam so there kavayah panditah kechit viduhu bijananti uh, i think this is a typo here it should be ananushthanam does anyone have gita press book is this anushthanam or ananushthanam ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠಾನುಷ್ಠ
anushthana meaning when you give kamya karma so kamyanam karmanam nyasam is sanyasam and anushthiyatvena praptasya anushthanam that itself is sanyasa this works better so anushthanam may be a little i have i had both readings so i was just thinking which works better this is preferable anushthanam i have to look into it as to what it would mean uh, which word will it go up with that this anushthanam works well you know meaning kamyanam karmanam nyasam and anushthiyatvena praptasya anushthanam kavaya pandita kechit vidu janan vijananti how sanyasa shabdartham so sanyasa shabda is what non practice of kamya karma and practice of prescribed karma works well vidu who means vijananti kavaya ar pandita kechit so he said not everyone agrees with it but this is sanyasa then nitya naimittika nam anushthiyamana nam sarva karma nam atma sambandhitaya praptasya phalasya parityagah so nitya naimittika karma which are anushthiyamana anushthiyatvam is there in them so anushthiya kartavya karya so karaniya so anushthiya karaniya all three have the same meaning thereby nitya naimittika nam anushthiyamana nam sarva karma nam all karmas which are prescribed for a particular ashrama varnashrama atma sambandhitaya praptasya they are attained as having identified one is identify them so as associated with oneself this is my varna atma sambandha atma is reflexive here i who am born in a particular ashrama uh, varna and am at a particular stage ashrama of life for me there is some anushthiyamana sarva karma all the karma which is there anushthiyamana which are nitya naimittika whether occasionally or to be done daily tasya phalasya praptasya phalasya parityagah giving up akanksha for phala is sarva karma phalatyagah so there is a difference sarva karma phalatyagah here you can have phala apeksha but not do kamya karma so chitta shuddhi artham if one is doing there is that is karma yoga so the earlier one sanyasi is who sanyasa is karma yogi is giving up kamya karma this karma yogi is not having sarva karma phalatyaga till then then he graduates to sarva karma phalatyaga that is the real karma yogi here he is getting into karma yoga he says nitya naimittika not a karma yogi really here you can say the first half year just you know i don't want anything more than what i have so there is alam buddhi but then he is not a karma yogi here he becomes a karma yogi by at least doing phalatyaga initially phalatyaga here also you can say that giving up kamya karma itself because karma yogi very diluted version is by saying that oh, you do any karma but then do phalatyaga that's not true here kamya karma has to be given up that is sanyasa so at various levels you can see karma yoga itself we have seen earlier also there are gradations even there so once one graduates to sarva karma phala tyaga then tyagam vichakshana prahu that is called as tyaga thereby yadi so sarva karma phala tyaga anushtya mano sarva karma na atma sambandhitaya praptasya phalasya parityaga sarv karma phalatyaga tam prahu tam sarv karma phalatyagam prahu kathayanti prahu means kathayanti who says this vichakshana ha so vichakshana are panditas who say this is tyaga tyagam is tyaga shabdartham meaning of the word tyaga yadi kamya karma parityaga phala parityago va artha vaktavya so what artha vaktavya artha meaning should be talked about for kamya karma parityaga and or phala parityaga yadi if that is true sarvatha parityaga matram sanyasa tyaga shabdayo ek artha syat na ghata 
पट शब्द जातर भूतार्थ and then what does he say the differentiation has been made here because the question is very particular if the meaning of renunciation tyaga if you say tyaga is renunciation sanyasa is also renunciation in taking literal translation but kamya karma renunciation of kamya karma and renunciation of phala there are the differences there the meaning of the word sanyasa and tyaga parityaga all this will not differ there the differentiation is made by what is given up unlike ghata and pata ghata and pata have different meanings but then this is not like that tyaga and sanyasa sanyasa tyaga shabdyo ek artha syat sarvatha in all ways it will have a same same meaning whether it is kamya karma parityaga or phala parityaga to this now there is a there is an objection nanu so puro pakshi says nanu nitya naimittikanam karmanam phalam eva nasti iti ahu there is no phala for nitya naimittika karma so the puro mimamsaka has come back puro mimamsaka has said that they have an understanding that kamya karma gives swarga now swarga is moksha for me you are saying give up kamya karma then which karma should i do nitya naimittika nitya naimittika karma has no phala there is a question of phala tyaga phala is there only for kamya karma if i don't have sankalpa what phala will i get sankalpa drives the phala also it it links me to the adrushta which is generated connecting me to the phala that is only possible for kamya karma For nitya nimitti ka karma, it is only for pratyavaya dosh nivar nivarana. There is no phala associated with it. This is his question. Then who nitya nimitti ka naam karma naam phala me va nasti tiya ahu hu. Katham uchchate teesham phala tyaga ha. So when you say sarva karma karma phala tyagam, where sarva karma phala tyagam is only possible when kamya karma has been given up. So what you are doing is nitya nimitti ka karma. And then you are saying nitya nimitti ka karma phalatyaga you do. Where is the phala to do do phalatyaga? So this explanation does not fit the fit the bill. Katham uchchate teesham phalatyaga ha yatha vandya ya putratyaga. One who has a child can give up the child. How can the mother give up the child if she has never been a mother? So this is that kind of his teasing. He says, what kind of a, an explanation is this? when there is no phala like a putra then how can you do phala tyaga like putra tyaga it's meaningless daisha dosha ha so bhagwan bhashya kare says that's not an issue at all nityanam api karmanam bhagavata phalavatvasya ishtatvat you think that there is no phala we don't agree with it bhagwan has said that karma whether it is nitya or kamya it will always have phala so phala vatvam is there for nitya karmas also no karma is without results there is result for each and every karma how do you think this pratyavaya nivarana works because that karma phala is consumed in pratyavaya nivarana without that there cannot be any pratyavaya nivarana so bhagavata phala vatvasya ishtatvat ishtatvat here it is desired by bhagwan bhagavata by bhagwan it is desired or intended for nitya karma to have phala also each karma will have phala there is absolutely no doubt about it therefore phala tyaga is possible even in nitya nimittika karma vakshati hi bhagwan and definitely similarly in keeping with my explanation or our sampradaya explanation bhagwan is going to say because of which we have sampradaya we have looked ahead and seen that what bhagwan says and then we have made a sampradaya whereby we say nitya naimittika karma is also have phala and phala can be given up because bhagwan is going to say you may not have seen ahead but vakshati hi bhagwan anishtam ishtam mishrancha he is going to say in the 12th verse in this chapter itself 
the anishta ishta and mishra these are the phalas we'll look at it what is the result how does it come about when we reach there but iti natu sanyasi nam iti cha and he has also said that however not for sanyasis contrasting in the same verse when he says not for sanyasis ishta anishta and mishra karma phala janma ityadi is not there for sanyasis meaning for others it is there those who have done punya kamya karma they have some phala ishta because kamya it was ishta then papa which has been done there is anishta phala and mishra one who has done punya there is papa and even one who has done only nitya nimittika karmas he will also get janma unless he gets jnana he will also get janma human being mishra but sanyasis won't get sanyasis are those who have got jnan is there you have to understand that we'll see more when we reach the verse i don't want to jump ahead here because we want to stick to only the question of whether nitya has nitya karma has phala or not it does sanyasi naam eva hi kevalam karma phala asambandha darshayan sanyasi who has ritualistically given up not the sanyasi which was mentioned here this is a this is a meaning which has been is a stuti it is a stuti it is not real sanyasa so the word meaning has been explained but stuti artham we'll see why natu sanyasi naam iti cha sanyasi naam eva hi kevalam karma phala sambandham darshayan asanyasi naam nitya karma phala praptim bhavat tyatyaginam priyetya iti darshayati and there itself in the same verse he says bhavati atyaginam priyetya having dropped off this sharira bhavati phalam bhavati eva nitya karma phala praptim bhavati there will be nitya karma phala prapti also it has phala for whom for asanyasis that is why sanyasa karma phala asambandham is only for sanyasis who have no sankalpa at all they have no sankalpa they have given up ritualistically given up all sankalpas they have no nitya karmas also therefore they won't have after jnana prapti you have to read that into it otherwise there will be nitya karma and nitya karma phala prapti also will be there even if you take that sanyasa sanyasi who has no nitya karma just for that reason he will not have nitya karma phala prapti and it can be pratyavaya dosha also pratyavaya dosha nivarana rather pratyavaya dosha nivarana won't be for a sanyasi who is not a jnani so we can take both meaning for a jnani nitya karma is not there for a sanyasi but if that sanyasi becomes a jnani then or becomes or is a jnani before taking sanyasa also then anyway he'll have no karma karma phala also prarabdha will exhaust and there will be no agami karma or san, or the sanchita which is there however if that sanyasi does not get jnana then also he is a tyagi sanyasi nitya karma is not there so kavacha is not there he will not have nitya karma phala prapti what is that pratyavaya dosha nivarana so sanyasi who does not get uh, jnana he will have pratyavaya dosha this is the this is the question which had come up earlier arjun had said what about their their case so they'll take janma again they'll have to suffer some papa earlier papa done they all, they all will fructify because pratyavaya dosha will start fructifying and they'll they'll have to do nitya karma in another janma to take care of those meaning nitya karma phala prapti won't be there and nitya karma phala prapti kim pratyavaya dosha nivaranam that will be there so they may suffer also jnana not being there they, they they may suffer in that very janma also and they don't care i mean if jnana is there a little jnana is there because of which they took sanyasa to get more and more nishtha there then it is not a problem that the sharira suffers let it suffer guna guneshu vartante this is the drishti of a sanyasi there in the true sense tyajyam dosha vadjityeke karma prahur manishinah yajna dana tapak karma natyajyam iti chapare now since why is 
here nowhere kavayaha viduhu vichakshana prahu was said why does bhagwan bhashyakar add kechit here there is nowhere kechit has not been mentioned kavayaha vichakshana may have similar meaning and both both of these views can be of a single category of people because they are not contradictory kamya karma given up one does nitya nimitta karma and then same person can give up and these who are defining it explaining it they need not differ they can be same same people they can say this person when he graduates to giving up sarva karma phala also then he has become a tyagi so that is called as tyaga why did he have to add kechit why some say because next verse is coming up tyajyam dosha vad ityeke karma prahu manishinah vichakshanah manishinah kavayah various words to tell the same meaning as pandita yajna dana tapakarma natyajyam iti cha apare now in those view points there are matabhedas some say so therefore cha apare when you apare said therefore kechit therefore earlier also kechit so why some say uh, why some only because there is a difference of opinion some say tyajyam is doshavat iti eke eke prahuhu eke is plural okay prahuhu manishina eke manishina one category of meaning so eke is declined in plural so it will have a sense of some so eke manishina ha karma tyajyam tyajyam karma doshavat bhavati pra that is what their opinion is iti prahu if you want to explain it iti prahu or directly without iti we will say karma prahu karma is dvitiya ekvachana tyajyam doshavat these are all doshavat iti so since doshavat is there neuter with karma is there tyajyam doshavat matu parthi not matu parthi matu pitsal dosha asya asti iti doshavat kasya karmana ha that karma is doshavat why because tyajyam prahu manishina ha yajna dana tap karma na tyajyam iti cha pare so some say that rather some say that not doshavat tyajyam doshavat tyajyam so doshavat can be seen whatever results in papa that is tyajyam karma so you can reverse it and say doshavat karma tyajyam manishinah prahu not tyajyam is doshavat but doshavat is tyajyam what is doshavat whatever karma leads to dosha meaning has dosha karma can be seen as karma phala so meaning papa karma that should be given up whereas others apare apare manishinah prahu kim prahu they say tyajyam iti so here iti has been given so tyajyam iti prahu what karma but not tyajyam na tyajyam yajna dana tap karma na tyajyam so here also two categories one you give up not kamya karma entirely you keep retain punya karma give up the papa karma earlier kamya karma all sorts of kamya karmas kamya is basically to earn punya itself nobody says that i want to earn papa it leads to papa kamya karma such as uh, you know some uh, forbidden forbid forbidden uh, it's not prescribed if it is neutral it's a different story but it is forbidden should not be done but it is kamya because i want the phala so shena adi yaga trying to hurt someone else for my benefit Shastra says you you can do it. It will give you a process also, because instead of going and doing krura karma elsewhere, you do krura krura karma sitting at home. You so it says that, but it also says that you will get immense papa. But this person who is who has so much of krodha, he may do a lot of harm outside in the society, even if he wants to harm one person, let's say. because he is an opponent an enemy 
if one wants to harm another enemy and not others then some yagas are not prescribed they are mentioned they are mentioned that such karma can kill your enemy shena yaga but it will come with immense papa are you okay with it this person has so much krodha he can't sing sing straight so instead of doing a lot of harm it says a particular harm you can do you will get papa if you are okay with it do it it will tell you how to not do it if you want to do it this is the way out but please remember that you will get naraka vasa this person is okay i want to, sukha now i want to kill that person now so they if this is a person he is a karta shastra says you do not do it he does not listen he is anyway going to go and do lot of harm anyway so shruti gives up method alaukika upaya with a trap there that you will get naraka vasa now this person who is doing it he wants swarga vasa so he will do lot of kamya karma which is prescribed to get swarga what whichever is more he'll get that phala and the other he'll get later or earlier based on whichever sequence so he'll get swarga vasa also he can get naraka vasa also if he does shenaadi karma and prarabdha is put together based on whatever is due in time this is the samsari jiva when he gives up all sorts of karmas which are desirable so raga related are swarga vasa leading to swarga dvesh related leading to naraka vasa so raga dvesh are driven both are kamya karmas so here you give up both that person is sanyasi that is called a sanyasa mean sanyasi mean sanyasa asya asya sanyasi that's how i am taking but sanyasa that is he is giving up is called nyasa is called a sanyasa then if he does give, does nitya naimittika karma phala tyaga that is called as tyaga further some say that because the earlier opinion is not agreed upon by everyone therefore kechit now in the third verse here doshavad karma tyajyam iti eke manishinah prabhu some say who also know shastra they say it is not true that you give up all karmas if you want swarga and you don't want naraka that is fine initially it is fine so you have to start somewhere you can't tell me that you give up everything raga dvesha also dvesha you reduce raga let it be there what is the harm later on we'll see about raga so they say you let the person work on his kamya karma also but let him drop nishiddha karma which is kamya as well for him in that sense so tyajyam doshavad tyajyam iti eke manishnah prahu further yajnatar tapak karma na tyajyam iti cha pare whereas the others say that yajna dana tapa karma if yajna is there dana tapa and karma all those have to be followed not tyajyam it should not be given so they say you give up anything and everything but you hold on to these so it is contrasting this sarva karma phala tyaga whether you do or not but then don't give up the karma don't become a sanyasi in the sense you don't give up the yajna dana tapa all of that you don't give up you hold on to it so this is what the puro uh, puro mimamsaka will say yajna dana tapa karma you cannot give up as long as yavat jivam as long as it the, it is there you have to do these karmas tyajyam that is chaktavyam doshavat dosha asya asti iti doshavat kintat karma bandha hetutva sarvam eva now bhagwan bhashyakara says doshavat iti eke prabhu he says this karma you go ahead and say that it is to start somewhere but then bhagwan bhashyakara says you it is the entire set so he interprets this verse to contrast with yajna dana tapak karma na tyajyam so this is in its true sense a dosha vat if you inquire into it is it papa karma or punya karma also each of the karma has dosha of bondage so bandha hetu tvam if you look into then dosha is what every karma is dosha yukta there is no karma which will not have dosha even nitya naimitya karma will have dosha which dosha bandha hetu tvam 
साधका फ्रॉम द साधका पर्स्पेक्टिव हू इज वॉन्टिंग टू क्रॉस अवर संसार ही के नॉट हैव पुण्य ऑल्सो इन दी एंड इन दी एंड दैट पुण्य विल ऑल्सो बिकम बाइंडिंग बिकॉज इट विल लीड टू स्वर्ग इफ नॉट स्वर्ग मनुष्य जन्म इन मनुष्य जन्म लॉट ऑफ सुख all sorts of sukhas but i do not want it i do not want another janma so what is that sadhaka supposed to do so bhagwan bhashyakara says that where is he landing this sanyasa which is mentioned this is tutyartham this is not the real definition of sanyasa although he has asked why because it is going to come up it will con- it will contradict everything that bhagwan bha- krishna has said about dvenishthe having talked about pravrutti and nivritti marga if he says that in pravrutti varga itself that so called mental sanyasa is is real sanyasa then why nivritti marga at all that nivritti marga wouldn't have been talked about in the second chapter at all to land on that bhagwan bhashyakara says this verse means that all karmas are doshavat therefore all karma karma eva tyajyam sarvam why doshavat tvat doshavat being doshavat doshavatvat because of having dosha yuktatvat ityartha so if you see doshavat is dosha asya asti iti doshavat kim tat karma which karma sarvam eva why bandhe tu tvat that is the dosha bandhe tu is the dosha if you don't see it fine naraka is the dosha i don't want it swarga is not dosha let it be i'll hold on to that karma but the more you do vichara the more you become a sadhaka the more you will know that every karma has dosha therefore finally you have to drop everything athava then athava other interpretation now some compromises dosha yatha ragadi tyajyate tatha tyajyam iti eke karma prahuhu manishina pandita manishina are also panditas sankhya adi drushtim aashritah those who have this sankhya drishti sankhya is what has been explained as jnana yoga karma yoga versus jnana yoga so jnana yoga those who have jnana yoga they are called sankhyas those who have sankhya drishti who those who resort to ashrita means those who resort to what sankhya drishti the sankhya view not sankhya as a darshana sankhya as jnana adhikrutanam karminam api ti so they say that दोष यथा रागादि ही त्यज्यते तथा त्याज्यम दोष शुड बी गिवन अप जस्ट लाइक रागादि इज गिवन अप सिमिलरली यू गिव अप इति एक एक कर्म प्राव कर्म शुड बी गिवन अप सो नॉट दोष एज व्हाट बीइंग बंद हेतु बट सीइंग दोष व्हाट रागादि इज इट ड्रिवन बाय रागा देन डोंट डू इट इज इट ड्रिवन ड्रिवन बाय यू नो द्वेष डोंट डू इट दैट इज ऑल सो इट इज नॉट bandhe tutvam being there in all karmas so you can individually inquire whether it is driven by raga be true to yourself no i am not doing due to raga then it is not tyajya otherwise it is tyajya now further uh, adhikrutanam karmina api even if you have adhikara but there is raga don't do it so finally it will end in the same meaning bhagwan bhashyakara wants to add, add, land on all karma has to be given up finally it is as simple as that in his perspective every karma should be finally given up tatra eva yajna dana tapak karma na tyajyam iti cha apare now he says if this means that everything should be given up then there are some who says not not everything you cannot give up everything yajna dana tapak karma should not be given up you can give up everything else what remains this is prescribed karma ityartha so it is nitya nimitta karma should not be given up till the last breath you keep on doing it karminah eva adikritah so karminah eva adikritah karminah prathama bhavachana adikrita only karmis are adikrita have adikaras tan apeksha ete vikalpah na tu jnana nishthan vyuthainah sanyasinah apeksha now this sankalpa this vikalpa which have been made these differentiation which are made what is sanyasa tyaga you know what is doshavat karma should it be given up or not should yajna dana tapak karma be given up or not all these giving up inquiry of giving up is possible only 
with respect to someone who has adhikara in this karma sanyasi does not have adhikara itself so what will he give up further so whatever description is given the comparison between tyaga and sanyasa also has been brought up you have to understand that this is only in the context of one who has adhikara to give up one who has given up has no adhikara he has no adhikara in karma he has no adhikara to give up also what will he give up when he has already given up so bhagwan bhashyakara says karmina eva adhikrata ha those who have karma they have adhikara in karma and considering them tan apekshe ete vikalpa the all these options are thought about by kavis manishinas or manishis or vichakshana whatever has been said they are all looking at those who are have adhikara in karma natu jnana nishthan those who have jnana nishtha they are not even the subject matter here in the even in arjuna's question when he is inquire into sanyas and tyaga when there is a comparison made then he is not asking about they they, they cannot be directed towards sanyasi jnana nishthan vithainah sanyasina apeksha na why jnana yogena sankhyanam nishtha maya pura prokta iti karmadikara upodhrutaha ye na tan pratichinta so in the third chapter not in the second chapter in the third chapter karma yoga where second chapter has talked lot of about karma yoga there but then this dvainishthe were talked about in the there it was details were analyzed in the third chapter jnana yogena sankhyanam karma yogena karminam so that was a differentiation made sankhya and karma yoga yog yogi naam so yogi naam is karma yogi naam and sankhya naam is jnana yogi naam so it's karma yogi jnana yogi or is yogi and sankhyas words are interchangeable there so jnana yogi na sankhya naam sankhya is are jnana yogi is because through jnana yoga nishtha maya prokta pura prokta earlier itself not here and now even when he talk uh, taught to surya so in the sampradaya when krishna had taught to anyone in any avatara there he has already divided as to pravritti marga nivritti marga both lead to the same goal kramena one leads to the other karma yoga leads to jnana yoga and then mukti not directly but both lead to the same goal whoever has adhikara in in what karma or in sanyasa he has to take that and arjuna has no adhikara in sanyasa for many reasons which have been discussed across chapters so arjuna is encouraged to do karma karma yoga at least for that time jnana yogena sankhyana nishtha maya pura prokta iti karma adhikarat upodhrutah ye na tan prati chinta where they have been separated out jnana yogi sanyasi is who have attained to nivritti marga who have done karma yoga earlier now the chinta is not regarding them now there is an objection here nanu karma yogena yoginam iti adhikruta purva vibhakta nishtha api iha shastrartho upasamahara prakrane yatha vicharyante tatha sankhya api jnana nishtha vicharyantam iti you are right he says you are right that two nishthas have been talked about says the purva pakshis why do you say that in the summary of the all the chapters only one is addressed why not the other if there are two nishthas talked about let bhagwan krishna address both why would you have this treatment of no this this particular question is relating only to karma yogis not to sankhyas meaning jnana yogis there why sanyasis let this chinta be regarding both why only one why step motherly treatment or why favoritism here why favoritism so why do you have favoritism about sanyasis this is the thinking you know people say that in fact i have heard teachers say because bhagwan shankaracharya is a sanyasi therefore he favor sanyasa <laughs> that is not true that is teach it you know teaching children it is not giving the real perspective why i mean why would uh, bhagwan bhashyakara bhagwat padacharya be interested to make everyone sanyasis he is interested to tell you what is right you choose what you 
want if you want moksha then this is the path this is the path where finally you have to lead there whether you know giving up earlier giving up phalatyaga so giving up phala giving up kamya karma slowly it is leading there what is it it is nyasa at each level there is nyasa you can't say that you know just become a phd one day so you walk the path slowly but what is the reality has to be said at, at least step by it should be revealed so here it is said nanu karma yoginam yoginam iti adhikruta purvam vibhakta nishta nishta has been divided api purvam vibhakta nishta api iha shastrartho pasamhara prakrani where the entire thing is concluded there yatha vicharyante tatha sankhya api jnana nishta vicharyanta amiti let them also be thought about inquired into no not true why tesham moha dukha nimitta tyaga anubhavate he tyaga itself is not possible because moha dukha they have already given up the delusion is not possible because the sanyasis are gnanis they have taken to sanyasa only because they know that they have done vichara viveka vairagya is already there now you tell this vairagi that you give up what 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 should he give up he is already given up pray tell what should he give up what is there to give up he should he give up his kamandalu should he give up his uh, kaupi na what should he give up there is nothing to give up they have already given there is no moha at all so tesha moha dukha nimitta tyaga anupapatte that itself is untenable na kaya klesha nimittam dukham sankhyaha atmani pashyanti why so because sanyasis are sankhyas they are jnana yogis they do not see the dukha which is kaya klesha nimittam which is that dukha is due to kaya klesha and that kind of dukha sankhyas do not have they know that the bodily pain belongs to body it does not belong to me so atmani na pashyanti they don't see in themselves then where will they give up and what there is nothing to give up ichha dinam kshetra dharmatve neva darshitatva so giving up something which leads to pain also they don't have because they don't have that ichha because ichha dinam kshetra dharmatve neva darshitatva they know this desire also is coming up in the antakarana due to some vasanas which have been there i have nothing to do with it let it come let it go they just let it go they don't act upon it not acting upon it there is no tyaga necessary there cannot be tyaga what necessary there is no tyaga possible of what has already been given up ityatah tena kaya klesha dukha bhayat karma parityajanti they have not given up karma due to that bhaya and they won't give up now itself because it is not there they have given up because they know guna guneshu vartante let it continue i have nothing to do with it napite karmaani atmani pashyanti they don't see that they have been acting whether taking sanyasa or not taking sanyasa they have nothing to do with it in cognition in understanding yena niyatam karma mohat parityajeyu they think that oh this is dukha roopam uh, karma i am bound that is not the reason they are giving up yena niyatam karma mohat parityajeyu tatha na because atmani na pashyanti karmani atmani na pashyanti they don't see atma as karma guna guneshu vartante guna and guna karya have interaction that is karma what do i have to do with it swarupena brahma eva asmi gunanam karma naiva kinchit karomi iti hi te sanyasyanti what is their sanyasa earlier sanyasa gunanam karma guna guneshu vartante naiva kinchit karomi i do not do anything i am shuddha brahma sarva karmani manasa sanyasya having cognitively given up all karmas ityadi vihi tattva didaha sanyasa prakara uktaha that is their sanyasa prakara how sarva karmani manasa sanyasya was said in the fifth chapter so third chapter fifth chapter there is a continuous underlying current of who these sankhyas are tasmat ye anya adhikrutaha karmani anatma vidaha therefore the question is regarding those who can give up which was discussed earlier also those who can praptasya eva nishedha na to apraptasya apraptasya nishedha is is moha the purva paksha is confused 
where is the apraptasya nisheda possible? One who has karma will give up. There is no karma for this fellow. What giving up is possible there? Tasmati anni adhikrita. Who are adhikrita then? The adhikara is there for anatma with ajnani. Yesham cha moha nimittah tyaga sambhavati. Now tyaga is possible as to giving up in many ways. Moha is possible. Ragadvesha is possible. So they can give up based on their ragadvesha. They can give up based on the delusion going or remaining. So all types of tyaga, which will be discussed now, because as we opened up the chapter, we saw that earlier, sattva, rajas and tamas. These are the gunas seen in yajna, dana, tapa, karma also. Now in tyaga also, these three are going to be seen. Therefore, this tyaga is related only to one who has not done tyaga. And then you can make categorization of sattva tyaga or rajasika or tamasika. So here, yesham cha moha nimitta tyaga. Tyaga can also have moha as nimitta. One can be confused and deluded about some kind of tyaga. Well, this is also tyaga. One says, oh, I have given up. You know, you give yourself concession. So we, we decide that, okay, this is what I'll refrain myself. This is my tyaga. Look at me. What kind of a person? This is delusion. It is okay. It can also be tyaga, but not, not at a sattvika level. It can be rajasika, it can be tamasika also. Therefore, such kind of tyaga is possible only for an anatma with kaya klesha bhayatya. And there can be giving up something because, you know, oh, this painful activity. Why should I do? That is also tyaga, but it is not a good quality of tyaga. So one does not do something because there is effort involved. Another does, does not do it because he sees that this karma has nothing to do with me. So both may ap ap appear to be same for a, for a person who is looking at them without any training. He may consider that both are like that. Jnani may also appear to be lazy, not doing anything. So people laugh, you know, this Puro Mimamsakas laugh. What kind of a Jnani sits and does nothing? Some Shastra, re he reads something, teaches something, but he does nothing in his life. So, you know, those who can't, they teach. Those who can, they do. So, this is the Puro Vivamsaka Zarupa. You don't need modernists to tell that. Those who do not, you know, they are unable to do, fit, to fit for nothing. So, they start teaching. So, with that thinking, Moha Nimitta Tyagha Sambhati, Kaya Klesha Bhayacha, there can be, oh, if I do this lot of, you know, effort, bodily pain, why should I do it? So, Tyagha. That is also tyaga, but it is rajasika tyaga. Te eva tam or tamasaka. So te eva tamasa tyaginaha rajasya iti nindyante karminam anatma dhyanam karma phala tyaga stutyartham. So the tamasika and rajasika tyaga earlier moha nimitta tyaga is tamasika tyaga. Kaya klesha bhaya tyaga is rajasika tyaga. These are criticized. Nindyante Karminam Anatma Jnana Anatma Jnana Karma Palatyaga Stutyartham. So Karma Palatyaga, that kind of sannyasa, stuti is done. That is not real sannyasa, but it is the stuti is done so that one gives up this, gives up in an appropriate manner. Not because of Kaya Klesha Bhaya or Moha Nimitta. Therefore, this is applicable only to anatma jnya, not jnya, atma jnya. Sarva karma par, uh, sarva, sarvarambha parityagi mauni santushto yena kenachit aniketa stiramati iti gunati telakshanecha paramartha sanyasina visheshitatvat. So there is a differentiation to be made. Ajnyas have some tyagna and sanyas is jnyas. Atma which have some different tyaga. They have already given up. So this tyaga, sannyasa is being discussed about one who is not a sannyasi. It is as easy as that. It is as simple as that. There is no question about sannyasi having tyaga further to already given up. Therefore, sarvarambha parityagi is the sannyasi in the Dvadashvadhyaya. Mauni santushta yena kena chit. So something comes by Ajgara Vritti, 
so okay lives on aniketa stiramati he has nishta he has no ragadvesha to deal with there is nothing to give up there they are not the focus here at all iti gunati talakshane cha paramartha sanyasi na visheshi tattva that paramartha sanyasi is a different sanyasi that is not the inquiry here vakshati cha nishtha jnana se ya para iti then in the 58th verse of this very chapter he is going to say jnana se ya para nishtha that is the sanyasi there it will be mentioned so you'll understand he says if you go further you will know why i say that this is related only to ajnanis because have, everything should fall in place you cannot have an interpretation at one shloka and the next shloka you forget what has been said the entire shastra gita shastra as well as veda shastra is in my mind when i give this bhashya this is the thinking this is the approach of bhagwan bhashyakara tasma jnaneshta sanyasinah na iha vivakshita they are not the intended vishaya also here धर्म फल त्याग एव सात्विक गुणेन तामसत्वाद्यपेक्षया संन्यास उच्य से न मुख्य सर्व कर्म संन्यास हियर संन्यास त्याग दैट डिस्कशन इज नॉट अबाउट सर्व कर्म संन्यास सर्व कर्म संन्यास इज दैट विच इज निष्ठा ज्ञान से अपरा वेर अनिकेत स्थिरमति मौनी संतुष्ट येन केनचित सर्वारंभ परित्यागी सर्वारंभ परित्यागी one who has that kind of parityaga is sarva karma sanyasi that is sarva karma sanyasa that is mukhya artha of sanyasa this is gauna artha stutyartham to encourage your person you are a sanyasi you know like swami ji is telling a brahmachari who oh, i am not a sanyasi so you are like a sanyasi you are like a sanyasi sanyasa vat sanyasa it is not sanyasa it is concession given to a person oh you are like a sanyasi why there is some praise you, this stuti so you feel encouraged not to do other things and then finally this is self tell secondary so we are over short the time uh, sorry i just wanted to finish this paragraph so karma phala tyaga eva satvikatvena karma phala tyaga is satvikatyaga compared to what kind of tyaga moha nimitta tyaga which is tamasika and kaya klesha bhaya bhaya nimitta tyaga which is rajasika compared to those this satvika guna in karma phala tyaga if you do then that satvika guna will get more boost and then that itself tamasatvadi meaning tamasattvam and rajasattvam tadapekshaya compared to those sanyasa uchyate this is called as sanyasa in comparison satvika sanyasa is also of this very karmi not sanyasi because sanyasi has what kind of sanyasa मुख्य सर्वकर्म संन्यास दिस इज नॉट दैट सो न न मुख्य सर्वकर्म संन्यास सात्विक संन्यास इज नॉट मुख्य संन्यास दैट इज गौण सुत्यर्थत्व सो सुत्यर्थम दैट इज दी रियालिटी ऑफ दिस ओपनिंग वर्सेस वील सी मोर इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा नारायण परोव्यक्ता दंडम अव्यक्त शंभो मंडस्यांतस्तुमी लोका सप्तद्वीपाचमी दिनी एनी क्वेश्चंस आई हैड वन क्वेश्चन आई थिंक वी हैव डिस्कस दिस बट इट स्टिल अकर्ड अगेन टू मी दिस विविधिशा सन्यासी इज नॉट अ सर्वकर्म सन्यासी विविधिशा सन्यासी इज अ सर्वकर्म सन्यासी बट he is vividisha means veditum ichha he has veditum ichha so he does not know completely so it is sanyasa to know so he knows the limitations of karma but he does not know atma completely he knows i am not this but what am i really completely he does not know shravana is done but manana and nididhyasana is pending shravana may also be pending he may have heard or it can also be you know just mumukshutvam is there but he does not know how to get moksha he is a vairagi so all these meanings apply to vividisha sanyasi vidvat sanyasi ha- knows as well so now if the question is vividisha sanyasi what is the question now vividisha sanyasi karma uh, is 
he is not a sarva karma sanyasi that is not true because vividhisha sanyasi means what sanyasi where sanyasa itself means sarva karma sanyasa if you that is a mukhya artha if you take the gauna artha then anyone can be a sanyasi there we don't have a differentiation of vividhisha sanyasa at all vividhisha sanyasa is yajnyavalkyas sanyasa contrast so yajnyavalkya sanyasas yajnyavalkya sanyasa or vidvat sanyasa so in in contrast to his sanyasa others who were not at the level of yajnyavalkya wanting to become jnanis they who take sanyasa meaning vidhi vidhi purvaka sanyasa sanyasa with a vidhi which is prescribed in the shastras how to do it with the viraja homa those are uh, sanyasis so vividisha sanyas is also gauna artha if you want to take that is possible similarly vidvat sanyas uh, gauna artha is possible i will also say this pooja Swam swami ji used to take this so i am not looking at bhashya because bhashya sammati is not there in my opinion in my limited understanding also and limited understanding of orthodoxy so orthodoxy paksha is not anything and everything is sarva karma sarva karma tyaga so puja swami ji used to teach this in again in my understanding is that sarva karma tyaga is never possible unless there is jnana only through jnana therefore he would differentiate saying that no sanyasa is needed no sanyasa is needed no vidhi purvaka sanyasa is needed because sarva karma tyaga is sanyasa that is the real sanyasa because without that there cannot be sarva karma tyaga even the vidhi purvaka sanyasi will have some karma then how is it sarva karma tyaga it is in cognitive understanding therefore sarva karma tyaga means the jnani whether he is in sanyasa ashrama or grahastha ashrama or vanaprastha or brahmacharya this was puja swami ji's way to explain however if people now you have to look further now this this begets an answer why did puja swami ji take sanyasa because this is a question that i mean this is not something that i as an aropa this is something that each acharya who is a sanyasu has to explain if he teaches that you do not need to take sanyasa this is something that my or acharya himself has said then people would ask me why did you take sanyasa so one can say that oh my prarabdha is different your prarabdha is different one can say that puja swami ji did not have this view point before he took sanyasa later he formed it because his teaching style has changed across years his dhridhata in particular way of teaching or in his uh, you know in impression it has changed that all these are possibilities so these have, have to be considered based on what your thinking is what your understanding there is but it is also true if you talk to closely associated people you ask them why did they take sanyasa and they took sanyasa from puja swami ji vidhi purvaka sanyasa why this begets answer further so you should see if you have access to it if you access to people who have taken sanyasa under the auspices of puja swami ji then you can ask such persons if they, if, if they discuss as to why did they take sanyasa what did puja swami ji tell them so if this is a matter of inquiry whether one has inquisitiveness or not is a different matter but if that is the question whoever tells you something if that person is sanyasi if he is not a sanyasi then how does he know someone has made a statement then you approach that person or if a sanyasi makes that statement then what does puja swami ji tell a person who wants to take sanyasa that is an answer to be looked into i will pause here i'll not mention that as into what this discussion really means but puja swami this much i'll tell that puja swami ji has encouraged people who can take sanyasa i don't think there is an institution which has created more sanyasis than arsha vidya gurukulam during puja swami ji's time the batches more i have heard that more than 50% of the people have taken sanyasa immediately after after the course itself that is his mahima so why why would a person who says that sanyasa is not necessary initiate people into sanyasa so, all questions are debatable but then 
in my perspective and i am quite convinced that orthodoxy is is right when it says that sanyasa whether it is vividisha or vidvat sanyasa it is ashrama sanyasa and bhagwan bhashyakara if you study the bhashya bhashya reveals that it is not because bhagwan bhashyakara is a sanyasi it is because he has complete shastra drishti he does not give concessions concessions will block a person from moksha because one will hold on to concession if the guru tells you this is appropriate for you and in the end also he shapes you up that's a different story one time listening to someone is does not make a guru shishya relation and it cannot be said as an authoritative statement also it is a public statement authoritative statement is what the guru tells the shishya so you have to learn that from a shishya or a shishya vritti and to that guru so that person cannot be quoted this is my very convinced opinion i have conviction regarding this therefore when bhashyakara does it he has an audience where he has guru i mean guru shishya relation to everyone who is teach who is teaching and when he says that this is the shastra sammati it is shastra sammata he does not want anyone to lose the opportunity to get moksha so this is where i am coming from and in, if you study jivan mukti viveka where vidyaranacharya categorizes these these words are vidvat sanyasa vividisha sanyasa are used in san, in sampradaya for a particular you know so therefore we cannot mix the moderners opinion if you want to take someone saying that okay, mental sanyasa is fine then whether that can be called vividisha sanyasa is questionable because that's a word which is not coined by him and he cannot use it with any uh, any connotation that he pleases it has to be used in the sense that it was meant by one who brought up those words and those words have a particular connotation they cannot be diluted this is my perspective i don't know how much it helps but this is the sum total of it okay yeah, yeah thank you anything else anyone else because we are at the 18th chapter so i would prefer this chapter at least we'll, we we should not give concessions further concessions we should see for things the way they are concessions are fine but unless we know that this is my end goal so my or anyone you know it need not be any not everything leads to sanyasa need not lead to sanyasa that is all fine it is not that uh, mukti is not possible without sanyasa that is also very clear mukti is possible for a shudra also which has been said in gita shastra none of that is countered what is said is what is the meaning of vidvat sanyasa vividisha sanyasa there they are loaded words so you have to look at it and not load them further they have their own meanings when we talk about gnani that can have a, any connotation you can talk about gnani you can talk about gnani matra if you if you if you like the gradation talk about those if you don't like grade, gradation gnani agnani two categories simple then ashrama has no meaning there gnani mukta jivan mukta also you can say fine but if you want to technically analyze the sanyasi why do you need the word sanyasi a person who is a gnani does not have to care about sanyasa or no sanyasa if that word is having the meaning of jivan mukta then we don't need these other words are all are just words mere words finally does he know that he is completely free that is the question so that makes a makes or breaks a gnani so gnani agnani there are only two categories vividisha vidvat the, the you know this uh, parivrajaka all these are meanings which are all technical they need not be looked into at all no gradations are needed as long as one is completely convinced that i am free brahmatma then no questions arise if the questions arise and there is a compulsion to categorize then you have to go with the technicality they have their own definitions they cannot be diluted oh this is he is a jivan mukta also he is a vidvat sanyasi also he is uh, turiyati uh, also all these have meaningless it can be you know just a phrase of someone but it cannot be technically everything cannot be right it cannot every word cannot have the same meaning right they have some particular purpose and then we have to use it with the definition of how it is used loose definitions are a different matter this, that's why bhagwan bhashyakara is very clear when he says that sanyasa what does he say न मुख्य सर्व कर्म संन्यास हा मुख्य अर्थ इज एंड देर एंड इफ वी सी दैट सर्व कर्म संन्यास ईज ओनली 
jnana nothing else is needed then he wouldn't say if you look at it then he wouldn't say that the he wouldn't take this object to this uh, you know he wouldn't answer this objection in this manner so when he says no mukhya sarva karma sanyasa there he can say okay there is no question about sanyasi or ajnani or ajnani at all when he says here stuktyartham he does not have to say that at all if sarva karma sanyasa means ajnani in any ashrama then he cannot he need not say that sankhyas are set aside or whatever all that mention is not needed the hair split analysis is because sarva karma sanyasa is different nonetheless uh, whatever appeals you can hold on to that there is no uh, i mean compulsion to take one meaning but i will take to orthodoxy wherever there is um, an explanation of particular word i will prefer to take the source of that uh, that particular word not dilute it from any angle so i would prefer that uh, you know i i am a purist in that sense which you already know by now uh, with the association that we have had okay yeah thank you thank you namaste namaste om tat sat